<laughs> All right, so let me show you guys what we're working with. If you look inside of his mouth, there are 80 teeth, 40 on the top, 40 on the bottom. These guys can break off and regrow their teeth. They will cycle through about 3,000 teeth in their lifetime. That comes in handy when you think about how hard they can bite down. An adult alligator can bite down without 2,000 pounds of pressure. You guys know what that is. You're on our side of the fence. 2,000 pounds is enough to break any bone in the human body, including your head. They can snap any bone, um, which is very, very terrifying. They actually have three times the jaw strength of a great white shark. They have the most jaw pressure out of any animal in the animal kingdom. So, even though they can bite down so hard, I can actually hold his jaw strength with one hand. The power is all in the clothes. They have very little opening strength, and that's what saves my butt all day long. <laughs> so, we get all of these alligators in here as nuisance alligators, which means they were found in somebody's backyard, somebody's swimming pool, or they ate somebody's fluffy. In his case, he was eating the ducks. <laughs> he likes duck. Uh, but once that does happen, they send a trapper to capture and kill the alligator, unless the dog, or unless the dog, unless the dog was a chihuahua. <laughs> if any of you guys have chihuahuas, I'll let you borrow my alligator. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, that does happen. The state of Florida kills about 10,000 alligators a year. It's not his fault. It's usually a nuisance person. Someone was feeding them. Um, once that happens, they learn to associate you with food. If you come back without food, you are the food. Which is why we have this rescue here. Mm. Unlike the state of Florida, we do rescue our alligators. We do not kill them. Have you guys ever seen the show on Animal Planet called Gator Boys? Yeah. Good, a few of you. All right. If you haven't, check out the sign right back here. It is called Gator Boys. Uh, it is on Animal Planet as well as Netflix. You can watch the show and see how we run the rescue. So, alligator wrestling. It's not like wrestling you see on TV. We don't hurt headlock or body slam them. We don't wear tights or spandex. That's the night show. <laughs> alligator wrestling is actually a technique used by the Seminole Tribe of Florida to capture an alligator and bring it back to their camp alive. The way they would do this is they would hold the alligator's jaws shut between their chin and their chest using their hands to tie a rope around the jaws. I'm going to demonstrate that for you. I don't know why. All right. Have your cameras ready. Great and then take out a rope, tie it up around the jaws, cotton tie the alligator. At this point, people usually do this. Woo! All right, I would hate to be the first person to figure out how to do that. All right, another question we get. Why aren't they all attacking us? When they first come in from the wild, they are very, very afraid. So they're trying to defend themselves. They think that we're going to hurt them. Once they realize that we're not going to hurt them, we do an animal-friendly show. They can calm down and relax. As you can see, I walked right over there past the big guys, and they did not even move. They were like, we can't even move me. It's silly so we can move whatever. Um, <laughs> they weigh about 500 pounds. I can't move. Um, but accidents can happen. Actually, one of them, he's laying right over there to the right of the tree. He actually bit my boss right in the head on national TV. That is my favorite alligator. We've oh, seen that episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me show you a little bit about their anatomy. If you look at his eyes, when I touch them, you're going to see something come across. You guys see that? Over here. So that's called a dictating membrane. It's their third eyelid. They put it up when they go underwater. It protects them and it helps them see underwater kind of like goggles. They can seal off their nostrils. They can completely close them. They can close their ears, these cute little flaps that are wiggling right here. And they can seal off the back of their throat. As you see, it just ends. That's what's called a glottis. We have it as well. If you go underwater and open your mouth, you're not going to drown. They have that. And even though they do live in the water, they can't breathe underwater. They are reptiles. They can hold their breath for about six hours at a time. They can hold their breath for about 35 seconds. <laughs> These guys will actually slow their heart rate down to about a beat a minute. You'll actually do that. So I do have one more trick to show you. Before I do it, I want to tell you a little bit about myself so you don't think that I'm some dumb redneck. <laughs> I have been training large predators since I was 18 years old, like lions and tigers. I worked with venomous snakes, birds of prey, and now alligators. My mom wishes I would go back to puppies and kittens, but I like these a lot better. Um, so I know we do make this look easy here, but I want you guys to remember these are wild animals, they're not labradors, they're alligators. Uh, we actually had one of our friends doing a show for only about 10 people. The alligator swung up, bit him on the arm, ripped his bicep muscle out, and ate it in front of the audience. 
He actually almost died from blood loss. We were about three minutes away from dying. So accidents can happen. But I also want to remind you guys that I am a volunteer. I'll let that sink in for a second. I don't get paid to do this. I do it because I love it. Um, we don't have health insurance. No one's going to pay for an alligator wrestler. I'm not going to get their own off. So we do use the tip jars around the enclosure. And we'll split it with the alligator. And that keeps our rescue running to save them. And you appreciate that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on that happy note, I have one more trick to show you. Before I do it, or I'm not sure you're talking about. OK, so it is called the face off. Uh, if I mess it up, my face comes off. If you have your camera out, I suggest taking pictures and not tagging my mother in them. So there's no purpose behind this trick. I'm going to set my chin on the edge of the open jaw. It's very stinky in there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Good job, picture. All right. Woo! That smells great, by the way. <laughs> I hear that jaw pressure, this is terrifying. Okay, everybody, this is mine and Ducky's favorite part of the show, getting off of the alligator. As you can see, he does walk away. He's not near evil. He's going to go bite you guys over there. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy the show and have a good time? Yeah. Good. All right, what we're going to do for you now, if you would like to see what these guys feel like, we're going to bring out our baby Thor. He's going to be right behind you. It is free to touch him, absolutely free. I suggest all of you guys touch him. They're very soft. If you guys do want to hold him for a picture, it's $5. He's going to be right behind you, and I'm going to be standing by the stick jar strategically if you guys have any questions. Thank you, guys.